everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 44, and this is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance called, oh boy, Sin, wait, Sinomini? Sinomine? Sinomini? I'm not sure, but y'all see it. All right, let's see, who did they ban? Hulk, Silk, and Void, Ugh. And I know those are exceptionally good attackers in this meta. Uh, and they do make certain encounters very, very easy. So I'm not surprised that they ban them. All right. Let us uh, see what they have planned for us. Okay, so. After the last um, war, you know I'm not playing around. I hate dying in war, and when it's easily preventable, I really hate it. So, this guy here does get armor ups, all right? And we need, the one thing we need to know is whether he is vulnerable to armor breaks. So look at this. The armor up buff turns into a passive when nullified by something other than armor break. But check this out. But armor up passives are not removed by armor breaks. So that means I'm not bringing Corvus against this guy. No, sir. Okay. We're not playing that this time. Got gotcha. y'all. So then we got this guy here. He doesn't get armor ups, but he's just an annoying uh, defender. Claire is great for him. So this one will be either, and I've died to this guy before, so I'm, I'm wary. I'm going to bring either Hulkling or Namor. And I'm thinking of Hulkling because I can use Hulkling other places. Okay. So Hulkling, Claire, and let's see. All right, so Ant-Man, Future, that's Corvus. Um, let's see. Should make sure, because he gets a lot of uh, um, armor ups, as we know. And as you can see here, they're indefinite, okay, while attacking, okay. Uh, intercepting him, I think, removes one. So if I can keep intercepting, but relying on intercepting, not a good idea. Okay. Um, so this right here, if it fails to trigger or is removed for any reason, except by the intercept, he gets a passive. So that means for all intents and purposes, he is likely not going to uh, get those armor ups removed. Uh, and you can see they're not removed by armor breaks. So no Corvus on him. Um, I'm going to make sure of this, but Claire might be able to do that. We're going to see. But that might be a Claire fight. I don't know. I, I, I may not bring Claire, but we'll see. And then we've got uh, Cersei, who I hate. Um... But I think Hulkling can also do that fight. So it'll be Claire, Hulkling, and we will see. Because if I know Claire can do um, yeah, 
Uh, I know Claire can do uh, Vision Arcus, but not sure about that Ant-Man. So I would want to bring in someone who can do both. Or let's look at some of these here and see which one we want to take. All right, so we've got him. I don't know if that's a great um, placement for him because the high energy diet, he's already someone you don't want to go up against with energy. So we're not going to go against him with energy. So I don't know, but I can bring in uh, Hercules. If I want to fight him, let's see. Nope, I don't like Root. See this one. Indefinite till he's knocked down. Yeah, one eye open. Annoying, but I think I could, with careful play, we could take out um, that Quicksilver with Nick Fury. All right, now up here, incinerate, shock. Um, I do have some options there, but we'll see if they need it. Incinerate, poison, shock and bleed. Let's see, down here. Recovery. He's an annoying fighter. Spider-Man 2099, maybe, but he's annoying. Knocking him down. Eh. This one's not too bad. Yeah, this is not too bad. Um, long as you have a good uh, option, and I would probably take this one with Titania if I were to do that. And then this guy here. Hmm. Now, see, this one, I think Claire, wait, let's see, triggers a buff. Yeah, I think Claire could do this one. Titania could do that one. Claire could do that one. Nick Fury could do that one. And uh, Hercules could do uh, Bishop. Okay. So any one of those that can take these two and I'm, I could be set. Um, so right now it would be Hulkling, Claire, and uh, Hercules. And we will see which one of these that I take. Let me see, Titania couldn't take him. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, enough chatting. You'll see what my final decision was. I will talk it over, but yeah, we're not playing around with this uh, with these guys this time. All right, well, let's get on with the fighting. Now, you just heard me say I wasn't playing around with these guys, right? And you heard who I was planning on bringing in. And you see my team. Let's just say that I should have stuck with what I had planned to do. Now, this Falcon, Sam Wilson, you're going to notice something. Now, I actually made a, a very quick adjustment on this fight. Uh, it caught me a little bit by surprise because there was something I did not know. And I'll tell you guys about that once you uh, see it happening in the fight. But it was cool because I just adjusted and it wouldn't have been a problem, okay? 
but then we had the shenanigans. All right, so as you can see, uh, don't ask why I'm putting on um, uh, that uh, uh, boost there. Just, 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 just relax. We, 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 we got this. We got this, right? Now, this should be pretty simple, right? Parry, get the armor break, go to town. So I parried, armor broke. Wait, he's got armor up again. So I parried again. What? He keeps getting his armor back up. I'm like, okay. Now notice how I've adjusted my fight. Now I'm just parry, striking once. We can do this. Not a problem. Okay. See? So, but then that happens. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it. And then this happens. I had zero Fs to give after this. Okay? Just so y'all know. Now, what was happening there is that uh, Sam Wilson has a, I think it's a 30% chance to regain an armor if it's removed by an armor break or, or whatever every time he gets hit, okay? So I was basically getting unlucky. See, look at this. No armor up right there. Look, look at this. See, now he got his armor up. But look, you see how I was able to hit him with some combos and he didn't get an armor up? But yet that first fight, he was just bam, bam. That little 30% turned into like 100%. See how much easier that was, that, that round? It's funny, isn't it? But in any case, that's not what messed me up that first round. The first round messed me up because my parry failed. And I took that full hit combo, which threw me off. And when he got to a special two, I panicked. So that was easily doable by um, Corvus. All right, so now I'm fighting um, Vision Arcus. Don't have to worry about the cold snap. We're good. Skadooshi. Beautiful, beautiful. Just like the first fight should have been. And it would have been. If I have to fight that fight again, I know I'll beat him. But as long as my parries work. Because that, that pissed me off so bad. Oh, my goodness. Now, this next fight. Ant-Man Future. This boy is annoying. Now, the last time I fought him, I fought him with Corvus. Had a nice, easy time. Go back and look on this same node. All right? So I'm like, all right, we messed up that first fight, but we got this one. No problem, right? And since I knew I was going to be using uh, Corvus, I may as well, you know, put that uh, boost up. And I'm like, okay, now the advanced power boost so that I could, you know, start and, and get to that special two quick. All right, so here we go. What? We got some uh, glancing. What do you know? He's got some uh, passive armor ups this time. Okay. All right, there we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Here we go. All that glancing, man. And I'm like, are you kidding me? He's not supposed to be this tough. All right. So he's got some passive armor ups now. But here's the problem. You can't remove those armor ups. With, um, look at this. Just, just, just whatever, you know, just getting hit for no reason. Um, you have to, to, uh, look at that. Now, I want y'all to just watch that. Is there any reason you think I just stood there and ate that? Just, just stood there. I'm just like, no more Fs. No more to give. Okay. After that first fight, I'm just like, whatever. All right. You can see here, I'm j I'm so pissed. And you see, I'm looking, I'm like, should I heal up even? Should I even bother healing up? 
I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and heal a little bit so that I can at least, you know, deal with the shenanigans. One thing I have noticed is that once they get you with whatever shenanigans, then the next time everything seems to be working beautifully. Nothing happens. Everything works. Parries are on point. They don't act crazy. It's just crazy the way that happens. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Where was all that difficulty and the glancing and the passive armor ups getting in there and whatever, whatever, man. So that's already two, but fortunately, we kind of already knew how this war was going to go. Uh, by this time, the war is kind of lost already, but there is a chance that we could. But I have a feeling that I'm not the only one that is just real tired of all of these input issues and, and, and the war mode in general. Because every little thing is catastrophic. You know, that's a lot of stress to deal with. And when it's something beyond your control, it makes it even worse. You know, imagine that you know that if you get hit once, you've lost. And you're like, okay, so I'm going to just, uh, you know, be very careful and block a lot and everything. And you go to block, and it doesn't block, and you stand there, and you get hit. So your plans out the window didn't matter. Your skill out the window didn't matter. And now you've lost. That's a lot of stress. And, of course, you've let down, you know, your team. Now, you see I got hit. Okay? I had the indestructible up because I already know they shenanigans. And I have a bunch of... Um, I have a bunch of them uh, there. So this this fight, not really uh, a big deal. Okay? Not a problem. But I wanted to have that invulnerability because I knew something was going to happen. Every fight, it seemed like something was happening. And I just started getting hit. Either a missed parry or it, it paused when it should have actually attacked. Sometimes it just dashes backwards in the middle of my combo. And I'm like, I'm trying to attack and you're making me back off. I'm an aggressive fighter. I don't do that. All right. So now our final fight here and we're going up against this bishop. The main thing about fighting bishop, I don't want him to fire his special one. So you notice I did not finish my combo. All right, see that? Didn't finish the combo. So I can push him to a special two. And that happens. Whatever. That's why I have the uh, indestructible. All right. Now, of course, I'm degening him. So he's going to stay at that special one. But I'm trying to block as much as possible to make him not do it. All right. Thank you for those... Uh, relics and no i'm not going to fire that special one because he likes that all right and then i decide to go in and we finished him off so two deaths that could have easily been avoided but it is what it is all right so that's the last fight for me in this war uh we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended And we're back, and the losing streak continues. So we just died a lot. I mean, what what else can I say? All right, we died a lot. Um, I think at towards the end, already knew the fight was uh, the war was lost, and so there were a lot of deaths given up uh, toward the end, and I think that's why. 
All right. And I know I'm not the only one uh, having issues with inputs because I hear them complaining about it all the time. Uh, but anyway, losing streak continues. We won the first three. And now I think we've lost the next three. <laughs> anyway, uh, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.